On January 9 of 2017, Li Yang Zhao calls 911 to report his daughter missing. Jackson Township, please. Uh, yes, uh, I need some help. I, I can't find my daughter. Uh, what happened yesterday morning? Okay, yesterday morning, um, we got up. We prepped JoJo for school. I took JoJo to school. I came back. When I came back, uh, my wife was very angry with Ashley because she peed on her diaper and she pooped on her diaper. So that got my wife angry and said a few things like, you know, you're, you're just old, you know, five years old, you still don't know how to go potty and pooping. And my wife got angry and uh, hit her head on the carpet, you know, two times. And initially she was breathing. She was still breathing bad. And did you, did you watch? Did you see your wife do it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, was there any blood or anything? No. There's no blood. Court documents say Ashley suffered blows to the head and torso, and that she was abused on multiple occasions from the time she moved in with her parents until she died. However, the precise manner of the abuse was unclear due to the limited information Chen and Zhao provided to investigators following Ashley's death. Was she walking? I mean, no, she wasn't walking. She was breathing, but she was lying down. And I thought she was going to come out of it a little bit, you know? I thought she was breathing normally now. Because she was uh, gasping, like... Phrases that are acted out at the encoding stage are more likely to be subsequently recalled than phrases that are verbally encoded into memory. Thus, gesturing when recalling information facilitates the speaker's access to that information in memory. It sounded like a snore almost. <laughs> so at that point she stopped, I thought, okay, so she's pretty normally now, so they didn't really pay attention to it. And then a little later, I uh, went to, you know, hold her and just can't feel right. And then I checked her heart and stopped beating. So I started panicking and I tried to do CPR on her and you know, try to breathe, try to breathe in her mouth and give her chest compressions. I don't exactly know how long I did that for. I know I did it for a pretty long, long time, maybe 15 minutes to a half an hour or something like that. And that's when we realized she's gone. Like they tried and... How long, how long did she lay on the floor after... After hitting the carpet? Yeah. Um, two, three minutes. We actually uh, took her to the bathroom uh, because she was vomiting. And then she got vomit all over. So we took her and rinsed her off in the bath, take her out. So this green stuff came out. Uh, our vomit? Yeah. So you or your wife tell each other to call 911? I told her to go pick up JoJo and I was going to stay here and call 911. Well, why would you pick JoJo up? Huh? Why would you pick JoJo up? So, you know, bring her to the restaurant so JoJo can see her so that when we call, JoJo can say, oh, she was here at the restaurant and she so you will see that she's sleeping there and to verify it and you know she's sick so a six-year-old wouldn't mind like that and so we want to to see ashley there okay. i picked up my older daughter from school we all saw her sleeping there so and you know we went to work and you know we let her sleep we, we saw her like all of us like my wife myself and my older daughter we came back when i picked up my uh uh Older daughter from school, we saw her there sleeping. In the history of crime investigation, it is often in the making of an alibi which spells the downfall of a guilty suspect. How, how did you get Ashley from the apartment to the restaurant? Put her in a car seat. Did you carry her out to the car? Yeah. You know what happened? Then I moved her up, you know, to the walk in freezer, uh, put her in that uh, plastic container. So, so that she wouldn't stink. What kind of container was it? That was plastic, uh, like uh, uh, those bus, bus, uh, busting containers for like restaurants. And uh, that's that's when we were going to call the police. Or that's just, we didn't expect this. We didn't know the, the procedure that 
exactly what's going on, you know. They didn't know that I was going to come down here, take a polygraph. Uh, I was going to be asked so much question. What What were the plans to do after, after maybe, what were you going to do? We don't really know. Uh, there was three things. I burned, burned it, buried it, uh, or lowered in the ocean. Those are the only three things that we can think of. Notice Zhao refers to his daughter as it. While this often suggests detachment, or sometimes may even signal contempt, it is worth noting that Ashley did not actually grow up with her parents, so there wasn't the typical parent and child bond there. The use of the pronoun, taken together with the subsequent actions of Zhao, raises concern as to whether he actually feels remorse over the death of his child. Getting back to the, the last night, you guys actually cooked and served meals while your daughter was laying there. Yes. And went on business as usual. Yes. Jackson Thompson, please. Hi, uh, yes. Uh, I need some help. Okay, where are you at? Uh, 4924 Portage Street. 4924 Portage? Yeah. Hey, what's going on? I, I can't find my daughter. Okay, how old is she? Uh, five. She just turned five. There's a stop it. Okay, and you're at Ang's? Ang's, yeah. When's the last time you seen her? Uh. Pauses. Both silent and filled are hypothesized to be automatic reaction to speech planning problems arising from the increase in cognitive load required for deception. Some studies also show that people who fabricated more complex lies were observed to use more speech disturbances than those who fabricate simple ones. Uh, this afternoon, probably. Yeah, one more time. Uh... Zhao has more speech pauses in 911 call where he's making up a story compared to the confession tape where he was simply narrating something that had really happened. Three, maybe four? Five? Five hours? You saw her in five? What was she wearing? Oh, okay. What? What was she wearing? Uh, she's wearing a purple winter coat. Uh, I, I don't know what those things are called, but they're not jeans. They're like, um... Like leggings? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What color were they? Uh, grayish. Okay, and you haven't seen her in five hours? About, yeah. I, I mean, she was there sleeping, and, I mean, you know... Where was she sleeping at? In the restaurant? Yeah, yeah. She, she was sleeping there, and I picked up my older daughter from school. We all saw her sleeping there. So, and, you know, we went to work, and, you know, we let her sleep, we, and we got busy, and then, uh, uh, after we got busy, you know, we started cleaning up, and, and then, you know, we opened her door, cause, and she's not here. Hold on one second, okay? Okay, so what's your name? Liang, Liang Zhao. Okay, do you have any videos or anything in there where you can see a video to see if she was lying there? No, 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 no. We don't have any security camera. There's just uh, in the restaurant. We've been here for six years. We never had security cameras here. Okay. So we, we saw her, like all of us, like my wife, myself, and my older daughter. When we came back, when I picked up my uh, uh, older daughter from school, we saw her there sleeping. Okay, and so... Was there any suspicious people that came in at all? Do you think she could have walked out and ran out somewhere? I, I have no idea. I mean, she was sleeping in the back. It's kind of hard to say when she was... None of your employees had seen her? There's only two of us, just myself and my wife. There's nobody else in the restaurant. There's only so three we, people in the restaurant. When you guys yeah. left, who was there with you? Like, who was there with your daughter when you guys left to go get your other kids from school? My wife. I, I go pick her up myself. My wife is here in the restaurant. But when we came back, she's here. Like, my wife is here, the restaurant's open. The restaurant's always open. Um, I usually open up, uh, I, I pick my, I drop my daughter off, I'm sorry. I drop my daughter off at school in the morning, and then we come here to open well, up. Well, right now, though, like, when you left, you said you, your wife, and your daughter left to go pick up your daughter from school? No, I didn't say that. I said, my wife is here all the time. Okay, okay. and your wife I, hasn't seen her either since around 4 or 5 o'clock? Okay, okay. Um, I think you, okay. When we pick, when, I'm sorry. Notice Zhao had to correct himself a few times. A person tends to make more verbal mistakes when making up new stories than when the information he is narrating is merely recalled. 
Making up stories is also harder when done under pressure. When, I'm sorry. When we pick... When. Nervous laughter is known in psychology as an incongruous emotional display. Studies suggest that incongruous emotional displays are a mechanism to regulate emotion. When we sense our escalating emotions reaching an unmanageable limit, that is, that our bodies are about to be overwhelmed physiologically, this perception triggers us to express the opposite emotion aimed at restoring emotional balance. What I meant was myself, okay? When I went to pick up my daughter, when we came back, my, myself and my daughter, not my wife, my wife was here the whole time. And okay, we came back. So your wife hasn't seen her since around the 4 or 5 o'clock either? I uh, guess. I mean, uh, I mean, I need someone without help coming to me, huh? She says she's not sure before we got busy. Uh, usually we get busy around 4 or 5 o'clock. That's the best time we can, you know, like... That's right. Uh, what's, your, um, what's, your, saw... what's your daughter's name? Ashley. Ashley. Okay. All right, Monster's outside if you want to go and meet Monster at the door, okay? He's, he's here right now? Yeah, he's already outside. Yeah. In the front or the back? He should be in the front. Okay, all right. My job in here today is to find out what happened that caused your daughter's death, Mimi. Your daughter's dead. I just don't understand. I I know that you're not crying. You said I don't have nothing left. Isn't that what you told me? You don't have no tears left. You don't have nothing left. Mimi, your daughter's dead. What happened to Ashley? How should I? I I'll kill her. You killed her? Yeah. How did you kill her? I don't know, just kill her. What did you kill her with? My hand. Your hand? Did you hit her? Yeah. Okay. How did you, how did you hit her? How? Yeah. Well, you yeah. hand to do that? I told my husband to take care of it. I need to take care of everything from the restaurant. I only have two hands. I'm not four hands, girl. I'm two hands. I find it difficult to imagine the horror for your child, Ashley. Barely five years old, barely five years old. The void of love, the complete absence of protection, the presence of such anger, the horror of being beaten by her own mother, and I use the word mother with great pain, I find, when talking to you. It's insulting to mothers who do what they are supposed to do for their children. No number of years is enough. A hundred years is not enough. Ming Chen was sentenced to 22 years in prison after pleading guilty to involuntary manslaughter, evidence tampering, corpse abuse, child endangerment, and obstruction of justice. Li Yang Zhao agreed to testify against his wife and was sentenced to 12 years in prison, pleading to obstruction of justice, corpse abuse, tampering with evidence, and child endangerment. Thank you so much for watching.